Now, here's how to turn your BLE Shark Nano from this oh, to this. Okay. Now, if you pick the wrong color case, I can't. I can't change that. But I can show you how to add an external antenna. I've seen people on here and they're like, the range on this, I'm not even going sucks. Okay. Now, I mean, of course it will. It has this miniature antenna in here. You can't really expect much from it. So adding this external antenna really gives it that extra power and it really just does look cooler. You really need a silicone case for this. Also looks cooler like that. I do have one coming in the mail. But let me show you how to add an external antenna to the BLE Shark Nano. Now, young ones, you are going to need a few things. First off, you need a Dremel. Okay. I've seen some people use a soldering iron for melting through, getting through plastic in the past. I guess that's fine. You just need a drill tip or, you know what I'm talking about, a sanding tip. And you just need some pliers whatsoever and some tweezers. I would say this is a... Uh, 7 out of 10 difficulty. It is pretty crammed in there, but we could get it. So let's get started. Oh, also a screwdriver. Let's get started. The original custom I did probably took place months ago when I first got this thing. I mean, I think the same night I got it, I upgraded it. I will say, when it comes to antennas, that is absolutely my thing. I'm always upgrading my stuff with these types of devices. Let's see. This crosshead should work. Um, Lily Go, that one was actually super hard because it's so tight and obviously they packed everything they can in here so it will be a stretch and uh, I will say if you damage your device obviously that's your fault I also suppose you can message me ship yours over here I'll make an intent on here for like 20 bucks um, I do start offering wow that is a super long screw to be in that small device let's just get these four out of here real quick Okay, now one thing I will say, I'm on the last screw. This is a lot easier if you have the clear case because you can see where things are supposed to be lined up. And I'm a little bit rusty, but trust, I still got this in the bag, guys. So you can put that stuff to the side. And uh, let me get, like, something to put this on so you guys could see it better real quick. Okay, so we could go ahead and lift this up. And right now, the current antenna, the 2.4 gigahertz antenna, is just sitting on the battery. So go, go ahead, peel this off. Get that ASMR. Oh, mostly just painful, I'm not gonna lie. But the back of this is empty, and that's really gonna help out with this. Go ahead, flip this over. Do you wanna be careful with the screen and stuff? And now that the antenna's right here, just lift this off. Doop, like that. Now, looking at this itself, it is actually a super cool little device. I should have powered it off. Doesn't matter though. And I mean, it's so simple, it's kind of crazy. I do think it would be so much better. Okay. I mean, I don't use the infrared on this. Maybe I'll just go ahead, take it off, slim this thing down so much. So, what we're going to be able to do now is just grab our SMA antenna. I don't know how people do not know what these things are. I always have people asking me, what is that antenna? So, it's just SMA antenna have one right here. And you could just get these on Amazon to search up SMA antenna. I'm not gonna do the whole link tree thing, okay. And that's really all we're gonna need for my little box of goodies. So let's see. This is obviously very small device. So the first thing we're gonna do is, okay, yes, now I'm remembering. Now the antenna is too thick to fit on the BLE Shark Nano case because of these edges. So what we're gonna have to do is trim this down to like a circle instead of hexagon. Trim down the little points with the Dremel. Uh, let's do this real quick, I guess. Now, this is what it should be looking like, just a circle. Now, we do have all this dust on here. I will clear this real quick. Don't want that getting in my BLE Shark Nano. And don't want to breathe that in either. Now, I interrupt you real quick to talk about Arc Labs. Arc Labs is my store. It just opened this previous Sunday. And we have three winners that have won the giveaway for the Chameleon Ultra. Now, if you don't know, it's one of the devices on my actual shop itself. And the winners of the Chameleon Ultra and the Zero Trace firmware were... 
for the Zero Transformer, the first winner was Kilroy, and he won first place. So, second, third place. Sorry about that. And for the winner of the USA Chameleon Ultra, it was J Rogue Via. Since then, I've been messaging him. He's actually a super cool guy. He's on Instagram. But, um, check out Arc Labs. I mean, we have all kinds of awesome stuff. Everything that you're going to see right here is available in Arc Labs right now, other than the hacking watch that will be on there soon. But, I mean, awesome stuff, awesome stuff. And, I mean, check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. Back to the video. Bye. But, some people have trouble with this. You just want to get this antenna popped on here. You could come at an angle on the top. And then, boom, just to the side like that. Super easy, okay. Some people way overcomplicate it, and I don't really know why. It's really just a simple little process. Now, it is easier on here because you could see where it's going. I do know I had to shove this wire, like, everywhere. So, let me look at the case. I do know it is going to be right here, so I can compare this with this one. We have this indent here for the infrared, and right here is where you want it to end. So you're going to want to put it right here, a little in front of the pole back there. Uh, obviously, it is a little easier because I have this one in hand to see where it goes. But just like we did before with the Dremel, go ahead and just make this hole. And you do not want to be afraid to do this. You to, once you get started, you just have to go with it. Obviously, making a huge mess over here, but it's just gonna have all these shards in here. I do see I went a little higher than last time, but this is the stuff you ain't really got to stress about, okay? Nobody's gonna be seeing this anyway if you have the case. Now, this guy should. I forgot. The, another thing in here is gonna be this ledge. Now, this ledge is not important, so we could go ahead and just jumble this out too. I think you could just cover it with some pliers or anything sharp, really. Life's just easier with the Dremel. Okay, and now that we have that part cleaned off, we can go ahead, see if it fits. Boom, look at that. We have our antenna. Now, you will have to push it down a little bit, so that's when we could go back and get our little gold rings. So this guy's going to hold it in place right here. Screw this on. And you are going to want to hold it, push it down at the bottom at the angle. So it can hold itself. And just like that. It's going to be looking nice. We can start assembling this back together. Now the cable is long, so you're going to want to get a shorter cable for the SMA. But you're just going to want to wrap this around, really. Everything you can in here. And the battery is just going to pop down here. So you want to put it a little bit above that antenna. So just you have to pull this out a little bit. Like I said, don't be afraid to do it. You just gotta go with the flow. Obviously, don't pull anything that's soldered down, like the battery. Unsoldered. Just pull it off. So, just like that, you can stick that right there. And this guy can feel free to scooch it over there. And then, let's just see. Should be easy sailing from here. Hmm, that'd be cool if I could switch the shells. Now, with this mod, for some reason, it makes the USB-C not really accessible. So what you're just going to do is just dremel this down or cut this little bottom piece off here. And just like that, you have a custom antenna on your BLE Shark Nano. Tell me what you think about the color switch up. I really like it. Now, I do have another one of these coming in the mail. I know you're like, two, Ilya? A sec? A third? Now, it's going to be the awesome Ghost Rats colorway purple. And not only will it be... A crazy custom. It's not an antenna. I'm going to make the BLE Nano this slim. Okay, now I want to do it live with you guys. I mean, YouTube has been annoying with my lives. I don't have to figure it out. But that is it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, send me a DM on Discord or just leave a comment. Check out my comments. That will be it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. And like I said, join the Discord age 1317. Bye.